just wondering, you sent writers into countries that they knew well to do a subject that they might not know well. Did you learn anything different about your countries through the lens of education? Anything that surprised you? I, I want to, because all the writers aren't here, so, so I, I want to quote a bit from um, an essay by Tahima Anam, who went into madrasas in Bangladesh. Um, and she makes it very clear that, that she has her particular set of assumptions um, about what they're all about. And there's one moment that's particularly lovely in there when she's talking to a student um, who's in hijab, this woman sitting and, and you know, with this textbook, and Tanima says to her, what are you, what's that book? And she says, oh, it's, it's rules for how to be a good Muslim. And Tanima said, and are there separate rules for boys and girls? And this girl looks at her very sternly and says, men and women are equal in Islam. Um, and then he sort of says, okay, I need, you know. And, and there is, you can see, let's, sort of, let's, let's take a break, let, let me, you know, figure out what's going on here, what's going on with me. Um, and so with her, I mean, she, her essay, I think, of all the ones most people came out saying, actually, um, I was wrong about a lot of things. Um, I don't know, Jamanda, if you had... I, I think I did learn about, uh, I mean, what the early example I gave, which was about electricity, but I think for me that was quite telling because I had just assumed that I was going to a government-owned school, that it would be just disastrous, and I get there and the fan was working. <laughs> so I, it was a moment of great revelation for me. But yeah, I think in a larger sense, it just opened my eyes. I, it, I, like many Nigerians, I, I'd like to talk about education, I'd like to pontificate about education, how everything's terrible, you know, how people can't spell properly anymore. But to actually go and visit the schools was just, for me, just eye-opening. I started to realize it's, it's, um, it is as bad as we think it is, but also there's spaces and there's spaces that, that gave me hope. And, um, and that also that, it's, it, that it's, it's quite nuanced. I mean, it made me think about teachers as well and how they are trained. And um, yeah, so yes, it was, it was a learning experience for me. And, and I don't think I would have, I mean, I'm quite happy to, to think about going to other countries, but I very much wanted to go to Nigeria and actually want to do more. I want to go to visit more schools because it's... I'm Nigerian, but obviously I don't know very much about how education works. Can I make a quick point? Please, please. Um, teachers. I think that's what really surprised me uh, about these. What really came through in these stories for me, we talk about teacher and teacher policy all the time. If you, if you read these stories and you don't love teachers by the time you finish them, there's something really wrong with you. you know? And you meet terrible teachers in this too. So it's not a eulogy for, for teachers uh, uh, at all. But um, I think it just gives you an idea of what teachers actually have to, to deal with. And we, we do live um, in a general context, I think, in many countries where there's uh, respect for the teaching profession and teachers is in sharp decline.